Hey guys, my name is Scott McMullen, a senior double majoring in architecture, engineering, technology, and construction management from Brandon, Mississippi. And I'm going to be your orientation leader and I'll be meeting with y'all with throughout July. And um, we're going to be kind of Zooming and I'll be there to answer any questions and explain some things. So if you have any questions, come prepare to get them answered. Um, but today we're going to be talking about the first year guide for students. And I'm going to be going over the top 10 tips for y'all. So you should have that. And if you want to join, kind of following me along, um, we're going to start on page two. So the first tip is actually finish in four. And this is really important to stay on track in your college experience. Um, and to do so, um, I would recommend you take around 15 hours per semester so you can accumulate those 30 hours you need per year. Um, and that kind of keeps you on track, like I said, and just also helps you with financial aid um, throughout the university because you have to take the 15 hours that's required. Um, let's say if for any semester for some reason you take only 12 hours, those three hours that you missed are going to have to be put somewhere else in a different semester, whether that's next semester, a year from now, and it's really good just not to overload yourself or um, try anything that will just stress you out when it's not needed. Um, so just remember to stay on track and keep your goal in mind for graduating. Um, and then we're going to move on to the second tip, which is be present. Um, and there are a bunch of different ways to do that. So no matter if that's on campus, keeping your head up and talking to people that you know, um, going to class um, and being able to get the help you need and study like you need to. Um, and doing that will also help you ace tests, um, complete your homework, and even get to know people. Um, or even just going and being present on campus and somewhere else in the organizations. Um, you get to get out of your comfort zone and you also get to meet people that way. So that's for be present and now we're going to move to the third tip which is find your people. So this one is really important because you can find your people that's there for you when you need them. Um, everyone in college um, has their people that they find in college that they're going to be around for the next few years that you're here. Um, so starting off as soon as possible and um, making those friendships that you trust is important. Um, and also at the bottom of this page, there's a list of places that um, want to help you. And there's also a list of um, offices that want to help you. And the people that are here to help you, they live for that. And they've been waiting for y'all all summer long. And that is something that they want to do. They're waiting for you to move in so they can get ready helping you out. Um, the fourth one is study. So surprise, it's college. you got to study. Um, in high school, I actually never had to study. And learning how to do that was something I had to kind of overcome my freshman year. Um, and there's different ways to do it. Um, for instance, I personally like to study alone in silence or I can't get anything done. I'm distracted. But I have friends that like to study in groups that allows them to kind of take a break when they need it and have people answer questions for them and just get the help they need. It's important that you figure out how you want to study. Um, but make sure you set time aside for yourself to do it, no matter if that's um, taking an hour a day or just 30 minutes, but make sure you're not putting, pushing things back. So if you have an exam that's not for another two weeks, put time aside to study for that now so you're not over um, extending yourself with all your other classwork. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, the fifth tip is it's okay not to be okay. And this is really important because no one expects you to be okay all the time. Um, like I said on a previous tip, you're going to find people here that want to help you. Um, and this is somewhere that they can help you and that they will. And you can do the same for them. Um, I personally, my time at USM, I've had to get help from people. I've gone to counseling services and they have help, helped me um, in so many ways. And I've grown so much from that. So no one expects you to be okay all the time. And remember, that's okay to do. Um, so the next one for number six is budget your bucks. Um, it's important to budget your bucks, and this is the one I struggled with the most um, when I was a freshman because with the freedom that I had moving out of my um, parents' house, I also had the freedom of buying whatever I saw and wanted. Um, but it's important not to do that because you never know when you're going to need actually need something and not have the money for it. Um, so you need to watch what you're um, spending and make sure you're saving your money. Um, so that's really important. Also, if you live on campus, you have a meal plan. 
Um, so it's important that you are eating on campus and trying not to spend as much money as possible. So I know me personally, if my friends are going to want to go out and eat somewhere, I'm going to want to go with them. That's just who we are as people. And it's hard to say no, but you need to practice doing that. It's something I struggle with today also. Um, and also, if you don't live on campus, you can get a meal plan too, and you can save money that way. So just remember to budget your bucks. Um, the next one is to plug in. And there's a bunch of different ways to do that. Um, I would suggest downloading the Outlook app, the Canvas app, and the GroupMe app all to your phone. Um, these are different ways you'll communicate with your organizations that you're involved in, um, professors, how they'll um, contact you through email, and then you can also turn in your homework or even take exams like that. And you need to try to check these apps at least three to four times a day, and I would say each of them. So check each of them three to four times a day. I do that and it helps me stay on track of everything I have to do. Um, also here I want to mention the Eagle Alert system. Um, it's something that the university has that they can directly contact you and send something to you. So no matter if that's over text message, um, email, or phone call, they can directly send you a message. And it could be something as small as flash flood warnings, thunderstorms, or it could be even like a bigger situation. Um, like even if there was like a suspicious person on campus, for example. Um, and also, if your parents want to keep up with what's going on on the university, they can um, also sign up for Eagle Alert system. Um, the next one is get in where you fit in. Um, this is personally my favorite because I kind of live by you need to get involved on campus. To get the whole college experience, you need to try and get involved somewhere on campus. So no matter if that's something, um, no matter if there's different organizations you're comfortable with, um, try them out. Um, you're not, you may not find the one you love right away, but keep trying. And always remember that this is for you. And my friend um, Haley Tate right here on this page actually says something that I love. And it's talking about you and your experience. And if you come to college with like three best friends, that's great. And y'all can go look at organizations and if they find one that they love but you're not so sure about it, they can join it. You don't have to follow them. Keep looking, keep searching for something that you love to do. Um, y'all are still best friends, but you um, can also spread your wings, fly. You don't have to follow everyone to the same place. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, nine is stay curious. So. This one is probably where I grew the most since I've been a freshman here. Um, you're going to meet a lot of people that are not like you, not like the place you came from. There's a lot of diversity here. So when you're meeting new people, it's important to learn from them and kind of let them teach you what they've been through and hear their experience. But it's also important to teach your own because likely they don't know much about where you come from. So make sure you're teaching your story too. Um, so just stay curious with the people you meet, but also stay curious with what you're doing on campus because that can help you get out of your comfort zone and it can help you expand and show who you are as a person. So just keep that in mind when you're getting to campus. And our last one is to take flight. So USM is a great place and basically you can do anything you want when you're here. And no matter if that's joining an organization like I said, um, getting involved really hard with your academics, are doing anything else. Um, this place is as much your place as it is my place, as it is the staff that works here and the alumni that's been here for like 50 plus years or longer. Um, make your story, you're here for the next few years and be prepared to fly with it. So I know you can do it and I'm excited to see you for the July session for orientation. See y'all soon.